Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm the Grateful Queen and this is a YouTube channel all about my adventures of reselling on eBay and Poshmark. I am what you call a reseller. I go to places like thrift stores, yard sales, the Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound and I buy clothing, mostly women's clothing. That's what I'm most interested in. A little bit of men's, a little bit of kids. Um, I buy things to resell online. It's a part-time business for me. I have another full-time career, but I really love this gig. And it started out as a hobby and it's grown into a profitable business. Um, so today I'm gonna show you a thrift haul. A thrift haul is when I basically hold up the items that I bought and I tell you what I paid for them, where I hope to sell them, what I hope to sell them for, a little bit of education about um, why I make the buying choices in case you're new and you've always been interested in reselling, you can learn a little bit here. That's how I learned and that's how I continue learning. I'm a little bit obsessed, just a tiny bit obsessed with watching other YouTubers make thrift haul videos. They're my favorite, so I'm trying to put lots of them on the channel. So if that sounds interesting, give the video a thumbs up. That lets me and YouTube know that you like this kind of content and stay tuned. We'll get right into the haul. I'm holding up these shorts for quite a long time, aren't I? They're adorable. So I got these for style. They're very current um, linen shorts. They're by Talbots, which does so well for me on eBay. I don't pick up a ton of it, but look how adorable these are. Blue and white linen shorts with a crochet little hemline and embroidery. These might end up in my closet if I could pull these off. They're a size small. Salvation Army wanted $3.49, but it was half off day, so I paid about, a, what is that, $1.50, $1.75? Just checking, they're 55 linen, 45 cotton. Hope to get around $20 for those if they don't end up in my closet. Today, you guys, was like, What's that called where you have to go in and do it really fast? It was like a challenge. My son, who is eight and loves YouTube videos, he watches all these challenges. And today I felt like it was a challenge because it was 50% off the entire clothing at Salvation Army, but I only had an hour. So I was like, where, what do you do when you only have an hour in the thrift store? I like to have like three hours and I comb through the whole place. Well, before I left, I made this cute little cheat sheet I don't know what you call these hash marks or something. What are they? And I was like, Q, if you only have an hour on your break to stop in there, what should you focus on? Like, where do you go first? Do you go to dresses, pants, athletic wear? Depends on what you sell, but I sell mostly women's clothing. So I did this quick little chart and I saw that so far in June, the item that is selling for the most are women's tops. Not even tanks, that was a separate category. I've sold 22 women's tops. So that's the item I've sold the most of, so I'm gonna go through the tops. So that's what I did. My second best category in June has been dresses. So I, that's what I did. I focused on tops and dresses. Um, and I hit the active wear on the way out, you guys. And I was like, all right, I, I'm just on my way to the register, let me look quick. And I got maybe like six pairs of active wear pants. So that was like, I'm so glad I stopped there. This I got, I think, for myself. It's Universal Thread. It's sold at Target. It's not super high-end or anything. My guess is at Target, this denim chambray top probably costs $29.99. It's not super cheap at Target, um, but I can wear this to work. It's got a kind of a cool bell sleeve, denim chambray. If it's too big, I'll, I can sell it probably for $15 or $20. I got, oh my God, you guys, I got a lot of athletic wear. I'm excited to show that to you. Um, okay, this next item is Anthropology. The brand is Pilcro and the Letter Press. I could see if you were new to labels and you're trying to learn how challenging it could be, because look at this tag. You see that it says Pilcro and then it's all stitched out. But it's Pilcro and the Letter Press, but this is so cute. It's like a denim pinstripe railroad stripe little skirt with pockets in the front and an exposed zipper in the back. It's a size four. And I'll look in the body of this to see if it says made for anthropology. If you're not sure, yes, if you're not sure if a brand is anthropology, there are a lot of things that will let you know whether the brand is sold in the anthropology stores. The surest thing is to look on the body of the tag and they'll 
the garment tag will say imported for anthropology. I happen to know that Pilgrim and the Letter Press is sold there um, already, but sometimes I don't know. And if you see a really interesting tag, like they put a little money into the tag, maybe it's got a bird on it or it's a big square, um, that's more expensive to do. It might be higher end. It's worth looking up. I don't know if I'll put this on Posh or eBay, but I'll hope to get about 25. I'll check what comps are on that. This brand I pick up all the time when I see it. It's Torrid. It's a plus size store at the mall. They wanted $349. That's cheap. Look at this beautiful blouse. Remember, every tag I show you is half off. Half off this tag. In case I forget to say it every single time. Um, this is just a poly. It's a size 3, so Torrid. Um, that will be a 3X. So 1 is 1X, 2 is 2X, and 3 is 3X. So it's a great size. It feels so silky and lovely. Blouse, I'll probably put that on eBay because I sell Torrid really well over there for $24.99 with best offer and hope to get $20. I don't usually pick up these brand, but these were so good and cheap. The brand is Under Armour, which probably sells well. I mean, I am not an expert at all about fitness brands. There are a number of fitness brands that when I see them, I pick them up because I know they sell. There are some that I'm avoiding because I know that they don't sell or don't sell as well as they used to. Um, but it's it's just not my thing. I don't do a ton of activewear. If I see Lululemon, like Lululemon, I will show you I got some. If I see Athleta, if I see Fabletics, I generally am going to pick it up and hope to sell it around $25. But Under Armour, I don't usually pick up. But these were only $3.49, half off, and they're like a full length skinny legging with a color block. I just think these will do well in the 20 to 25. They're a size small, compression heat gear. But I like these, I think they'll do okay. So just a note, I'm gonna show you lots of different leggings because like I said, I hit the athletic wear on the way out. This is like a cropped skinny legging. This is a full length skinny legging. What my research on eBay and Poshmark has showed me is that the full length skinny leggings sell for more they just sell for more so these will these might do better this this is a brand these skinny leggings that were 349 half off are by gap fit and you might be wondering like why are you picking up gap um i picked up only a couple gap items it's not a brand that i pick up or look for or anything but if it's a really cute style i'll pick it up and i happen to know that gap fit it's also sometimes called Gap Body. For some reason, people like their athletic wear and it sells for me. So I thought these were cute. A cute skinny legging with a black and white um, detail there. And I'll probably put those on for like $29.99 and hope to get a best offer $20 or above. These are Athleta. You probably all know this logo, but here we go. Athleta. These are a size medium skinny legging in this cool blue and white striped. I did a quick search just to be sure, but it looks like Athleta leggings go between 20 and 25 for the cropped ones. And mediums are really good size. There tends to be a ton of small on there. They don't swell quite as well, but medium should sell well. Another pair of Athleta, I really like these ones. These were 5.49 half off. This is the Salvation Army and they're pricing you guys if you try to like figure it out, it would drive you crazy. I've tried to figure it out, I should say, and it's driven me crazy because it's all over the place. It doesn't make any sense. Some things are $349, some things are $10.99, and I don't know why. I know um, that a lot of people when I'm in the Salvation Army will be complaining to the workers, and I've heard them say repeatedly to people, we don't do anything in the store with pricing. They price it in San Francisco, and they send it up here. I think they get that question all the time and they're just aggravated. So they're like, don't talk to me about the prices. I don't know what their pricing strategy is, but this pair I thought was particularly cute. They're what I'd call a jogger, a crop jogger. Looks So if they get skinny down at the ankle hemline, that's a jogger. And they're sweatpants. Like a heathered gray. I just think those are so cute. And the logo... Where was it? I thought it was like a pop of color or something different. 
Well, I'm not seeing it in the moment. How did I know these were the, maybe that was another pair I put back that I thought the logo looked different on. Oh, here it is. So um, I haven't seen this before, but see the logo is actually like in a neon yellow. So that's different for them. And the, oh, it's got little neon yellow slanted pocket details. So these are cool. Um, if you don't know, often in the body of the garment, you can find the Athleta tag and there'll be a style number. So you can put that style number into Google, put Athleta pants style number, and you'll often, you can get a stock photo and a name of the item there. It doesn't work for me every single time. Oh my gosh, I did get a lot of leggings. And I'm telling you, this was like my last five minutes in the store. I was just passing by. I'm so glad I stopped the in the activewear section. These are Adidas. I don't buy all Adidas, but I really liked the print on these. Um, and they're skinny leggings. They're a bigger size and they have these mesh panels. So that's cool. I am going to look these up um, because these are size large. So that's a good size. I, again, I'm not an expert on athletic wear, but I do know that some Adidas prints are sought after. I have no idea what print this is, and I have no idea if this is a sought after print, but I will look into it. Some of the sought after prints can go for a lot of money. Okay, this is the first pair of Lulu leggings I found. Again, they're cropped skinny legging. The, uh, sometimes the crop ends at the knee and sometimes it goes to like mid calf and then there's full length. I think these are probably like a mid calf pair. I don't know the style name on these. I will go on to the website Lulu Fanatics and I will scroll through and see if I see it based on the style. These have a zipper pocket in the back. The hardware is still there. Sometimes you can sell just the hardware and they've got um, some cute detailing here. There was a little bit of a flaw on these, but Salvation Army wanted, ooh, I paid too much. They wanted $8.99, and so it was half off, so $4.50 I paid. Okay, I'm back. Um, gosh, learning YouTube, you guys, not an easy project. Anyway, ah, I just did a whole haul, apparently, for no one. For some reason, my video stopped after I showed you guys one of these pairs of leggings, the Adidas or the Lulu, and I did the rest of the haul to nobody. So, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it again. Who knows what I'll say this time though, it's a new moment, right? Here we go. I'm gonna continue with the haul that got cut off. This is a anthropology dress, the brand is Diletta. $5.49 half off, ivory color. If anybody knows the style of this type of dress, will you drop it in the comments? I see it all the time. I'm not sure if it's a drop waist, but see how there's kind of like pleatings at the skirt line and it has a little bit of structure to it. What's that called? What I could do and what you could do if you have interest is um, go into Google, type in style charts or style names of dresses. And it'll print, it'll bring up these cute little charts and it'll tell you the style names. That's how I learned a lot of the style names. So I could do that too. You can do it for necklines. You can do it for heel types. It's really useful. Pinterest has a lot of that stuff. I bought this because it's J Jill, which sells really well for me in eBay. Probably still my number one selling brand over there. It's a size XL. It was $5.49 half off. It feels really soft and nice. And this is called a baby doll style top. If it's sort of a long tunic and then it um, has some pleating, it's called baby doll style. It has a roll tab sleeve, which people really like. I'll probably put this on for probably $34.99 with best offer and hope to get an offer of 25 or so on that because it is an XL. This was a really good score. So I'm not sure what I said in the early part of the video. I think I mentioned that stopping at the activewear was like a last minute on the way to the register decision. I ended up with maybe like eight or 10 pairs. This pair's Patagonia, which is an awesome, expensive outdoor wear brand. Outdoor wear brand? I don't know. Um, they're size medium. I got two pairs. 
And this is the odd thing about this Salvation Army. So one of them was $3.49, half off. This identical pair was $8.99, half off. They are a little bit different. I don't know what the leggings go for. I know Patagonia is a sought after brand. It has a real following. People love their Patagonia. I've sold a lot of tank tops. I've sold men's swimsuits in the $35 range on eBay. Um, the, the things that sell really well are like their fleece, especially if it's a cool color or pattern, but I don't know how the leggings will do, but I'm gonna guess 30 bucks. They feel really nice. They're in excellent condition. They're good. This pair was a good find because again, they're Athleta, but they're size 14, so that's like a large, extra large, and they're new with tag. The Sienna Wide Leg. They're kind of like a trouser, a high-waisted trouser, nice zipper pockets on the back, and they're kind of what's called a ponte knit, like a, a heavyweight knit, but silky. Those should do pretty good. $39.99 with best offer. Maybe hope to get $35. Yet another pair of Athleta leggings, size medium. These are a higher waist, so these should do better because everybody wants high waist right now from the crotch to the um, top of the waist is the rise. So I'll put high rise or high waist. Those feel really nice and silky loveliness. This is probably my favorite. I'm so thankful that I found these. Um, the brand is Lululemon, which we both know. I know I'm the only one who says it that way. Um, when I was living in a yoga ashram, when I was in my 20s, I had a good friend there named Kalina, and she was from Canada, um, some French-Canadian part, and they all said Lululemon. Lululemon. And she ran the store there, and she said Lululemon, so that's always how I said it, but I've only heard people now say Lululemon. But anyway... These are my size, they're an eight. They're, you can often find the dot in weird spots like the pocket. They're a heavy knit. It's like a different knit than I'm used to feeling with Lulu. They're almost textured. Gray, skinny. On me, these will practically be full length or close to my ankle. I might have to keep those. I just sold on Poshmark today a pair of Lulu Wonder Unders. They were floral. I had them on there for 50. I shot really high because I've learned to do that on Poshmark because you have to send out so many offers to likers and you have to be able to decrease your price as you go. So I put things a little higher. I put 50 and I got an offer for 40. I didn't have to give a shipping discount because they sent me the offer. So that's a pretty good flip. Keep moving, Q, keep moving. This is a big haul and I've already filmed it once. I'm doing it again. These are Lucky Brand. I don't buy all Lucky Brand, but these are really on trend right now with all this distressing and fade. They're a size six, they're a higher rise. I'll put the, oh, they're button fly too. So these have a lot of good things going for them. They were expensive, $8.99 half off, which I don't like. $4.50, but I think I'll put them on for $35 on Posh. Hope to get a best offer. This is adorableness right here, and it's my favorite brand, which is Free People. I'm putting all my free people on. Okay, guys, third time, third, th th th. okay, guys, third time is a charm. This is take three. I have tried to record this haul three times now, and it keeps getting cut off. So hopefully this will be it. I'm determined to finish sharing this haul with you guys. So stay tuned. Here we go. I apologize in advance if I share something right now that I might have shared in one of the other segments because it's a little hard to keep track. Onward, okay? So this is a brand I'm excited about because I've never found. The brand is Outdoor Voices. And again, a total shout out to the resellers who make content on YouTube and who share on Instagram because this is not a brand I would ever have heard of before. Um, there's no logo that I'm aware of, but these leggings go for about $35. Often they're more of a color block, so they'll have like blue and then yellow. This is just a solid pair, and I'm not sure if the solid pair, if people are looking for those or if they want the color block, but these are an excellent shape, full length to not crop. They're size medium. I think I'll get at least 35 for those. This was the first thing I found when I walked in the store which is Eileen Fisher, and it's a quilted vest. 
which is really nice. It's a size PP, which does anyone know what that is? If you do, leave it in the comments. What I'll probably end up doing um, is going on to Eileen Fisher website, look at their size chart. It's probably, it's a petite, but I don't know what PP means. Looks kind of small to me. Um, but it's also 100% um, organic cotton. So this is a really sweet piece. I might wait and list it into the fall. I wish it was a bigger size. It would go for more. This is a brand I love, although I don't love trying to say it to you all. It's an anthropology brand, and the brand is Edme and Esalite, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but this is a gorgeous piece. And of note here on the tag, you can see this dry cleaning tag, this little barcode strip. If you see that, I, I even if I'm not familiar with the brand, I will pick it up and look at it because if someone went through the trouble and the expense to get it dry cleaned, it might be a nice piece. This is 100% silk and it has all these anthropology details. This kind of ruffle here and this ruching there, beautiful blue color. Um, ooh, the size might be covered up by the dry cleaning tag, so I'll remove that, but it looks like a large to me. This is one of my favorite brands to sell on eBay. Um, wait, did I show you? Did you guys get to see the tag on that? $5.49 half off. And the Eileen Fisher was $10.99 half off. So um, someone probably was familiar with that brand and priced it high. Prana, this on eBay is a really good seller for me. This is a burnout top. See how it's super thin like that? Um... So I'll probably put this up for $24.99 on eBay and it'll sell fast. I don't know why on Poshmark my Prana is not selling. Probably sells for other people, but I'm not having any luck with my Prana on Poshmark. It's just sitting there. Okay, so Gap, which is not a brand I buy because the market is just so saturated. I, I don't know what, but if you searched on eBay for Gap dress, you're probably going to get like 100,000 listings. I'm totally making that up right now. I have no idea, but I'm just saying it's a saturated market. But I bought this because the style was so good that I'm willing to do it. So this is a long maxi dress. It has a halter neckline. It's open in the back. It's like chambray denim, which is a fabric people love. It's long, long with these this tiered hem. So I think the style of this will sell it for me. It was $8.99 half off. And I'm going to put it up for like $39.99 with best offer and hope to get like $30. It's a, it's a substantial piece. And people are often willing to pay a little bit more for a dress. Because it's a whole outfit. Okay, this is a, this is a fun um, piece to talk about. The brand is Nick and Zoe. And um, this dress was there the last time I went to the 50% off sale at Salvation Army, and it hadn't sold. Um, it's a size medium. It was $6.99 half off. And I just wasn't sure about it because I saw the Nick and Zoe, and I'm like, oh, gosh, have I heard of that? But there are just so many brand labels that are like Nick and Zoe, Lily and Rose, Tara and James, like I just couldn't remember if this was nothing or something. So I did come home and look it up and dresses like this seem to go about 35 or $40 on eBay or Posh. And I love the style of this dress. It's a very heavy knit, it's ribbed, it's a midi length. So if it comes down like even longer than the knee, maybe mid calf, it's called midi, M-I-D-I. And that's pretty popular right now. That's, this is a really nice piece. So I'll put it on eBay about $39.99 with best offer. I might have to ship a priority. It's really a heavy, stretchy knit. Okay, this brand, 41 Hawthorne. This is a dress, and it was $5.49 half off. It's a size extra small petite, so not the greatest size. Um, it's a shirt dress. It has roll tab sleeves, and it's some sort of animal print. I don't know what animal when I'm looking at it now, and it's got a tie waist. Um, if you get a chance, I did a video on selling Stitch Fix brands. You might want to check that out. Brands that are carried by the online styling company Stitch Fix. This is like a mouthful to say. <laughs> they tend to sell well for me on eBay. This is one of them. And I remember looking up 41 Hawthorne. And I believe it's like their line that Stitch Fix says really transitions well from 
your workday career to going out at night. So they have a lot of animal prints and kind of trendy prints. So I'll probably put that on for $29.99 on eBay. This dress is simply Old Navy. It was $3.49 half off. It's a, I'll tell you why I bought this. Do I buy a lot of Old Navy? No, but I will buy it if it's a trendy item or a classic item because it does sell, not for big money, but um, I bought this dress and I'll tell you why. It's a size large, it's 100% linen, and it's just a very simple, classic kind of shift dress. And I just think it's a navy blue, it has side pockets. This is the sort of thing women love to throw on, just a, a casual sundress to wear to the pool or something. So I'm gonna probably put that up for $24.99 with best offer, and I bet I can get 18 to 20. This is a brand I've never heard of, have you guys? I looked it up because it has, again, an interesting tag. It's like hanging there. It's not even tacked on. It's like a little flag. And it says, I think Wayne Layers, W-I-N-N-E. I -N -N -E. I don't know how to, if that's how you pronounce it. I got it because it's a size XL. It was $3.49 half off. It's a really great feeling kind of oversized tank top. And I did look it up and I can probably get about 20 for this. They make some really good stylish basics but i've never heard of that brand okay just a few more items oh and i can show you um a couple bonus items too i got it at a little thrift store i'll tell you about after this is made well good brand but i got this for me i love white in the summer and um i like the cut of this and it was 349 half off buying white is always a risk I can go to the thrift store, I can see white, I can look it over really well, I can take it to um, the window of the thrift store and do my best to look it over. However, I was gonna give some kind of statistic like nine times out of 10, but I don't really know what it is, but um, then I get it home, I put it in front of my lights to take pictures of it, and inevitably there usually is some flaw, some dust, some stain, something. So it's risky to buy white and resell it. This is probably one of my best finds. Um, the brand is Rebecca Taylor. Rebecca Taylor, I love they have a little charm, is sold at places like Nordstrom. They make these um, career style blouses. Um, they make dresses too, but if you go to like Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack, the dresses from Rebecca Taylor can go for hundreds of dollars. Um, I own one Rebecca Taylor silk blouse that I got at a clothing swap a few years ago, and it's one of my favorite pieces. This is black, has an eyelet lace front, the back has an exposed gold zipper, and it's 100% silk. Could that be true? Because the panel, let me double check what it says here. 100% silk. Yeah, so it is. I was going to say because this paneling has got some stitching in. It's gorgeous. I'm going to try this on because I'd love a piece like this for work. But I'll see what comps are. Um, if I can get like 35 or something for it, I'll sell it. Okay, and this is the... Did I show you guys this already? I got this just for myself. I don't know if I showed it in part one or part two. <laughs> Brandy Melville. It sells pretty well. It's like a young juniors, young women's brand. Um, but this is 100% linen top. I got it for me. It was $5.49 half off, but it would also sell if for some reason I tried on and it, I don't like the fit. I can probably get 15 to 20 on Posh or eBay. Lastly, this was kind of a good surprise. Um, I paid a lot for this though. This is Lucky brand. It's a size small. Lucky sells really well for me on both eBay and Posh. It was $10.99 though, half off. So I paid $5.50, but um, it's a gorgeous printed, very long maxi dress, and it is 100% silk, which I didn't even know Lucky Brand um, made things that are like 100% silk. I haven't seen that before. I sell a lot of their embroidered peasant tops, usually between $20 and $30 on both eBay and Posh. This is really gorgeous. It has, I guess you'd call that kind of a halter neckline, a nice print. Very long lined. I'll have to see how these dresses do, but I'm guessing I can get like 35 for it. If this is actually recording that I have successfully <laughs> recorded my 50% off day Salvation Army haul in three pieces. 
Okay, and I'll show you a couple of other things. If you like this style of video, please leave a comment and a thumbs up for me and YouTube so that we know this is content you and en you enjoy. I'm open to um, feedback, questions. I'd be happy to reply. Please leave that in the comments. I, I'm just going to show you three more things that I got at a church thrift store. I have seen this church thrift store and driven by it. It's attached onto a church in my area. And I've driven by and I'm like, I wonder if that's like one of these like super great little thrift stores, but it's never open. I've never seen it open. It was actually open. So I pulled over and I went in and it really wasn't that great. It was tiny. Things were not in great condition. There weren't great items, but I did find three items that I'll share with you. And I wonder if I paid too much, but this is Marmot, which is another expensive like outdoor wear brand. And I got this because it's a women's um size medium and and um it seems like a really great style like for hiking or camping and it's got this ombre or dip dye that's when like it fades from one color to the next and it has roll tab sleeves and it was two dollars and fifty cents so i'm hoping i can get like 20 25 out of that i'll save my favorite one for last these are cool um these are it's a romper or overall shorts and this brand i haven't seen in a long time so i might call these vintage it's hardtail and i swear when i was like in high school or something this was a popular brand yeah it looks like it has kind of a vintage vintage tag so i'm gonna put um vintage I'll, I'll do my research first but i haven't done comps or looked this up or anything yet but i'm gonna put i'm thinking right now like vintage romper overalls women's they're really cute and last but not least, my favorite brand. How much were these overalls? Did I show you guys that? $4.50. No, $4. $4. So, hi. A little high. My favorite brand ever, Free People. This is a size small. And check this out, you guys. This is so good. So good. It's a crochet sweater with all these colors. Now, I think I already said in this video, I don't tend to wear a lot. No, that was another video. I don't wear a lot of bright colors. I stick to like black, gray, white, or like a subtle print. I just, when I put bright colors on, I just feel like not myself. But this is so cool with some jeans or something. I'm going to try it on. It might make it to my Poshmark closet. It was $5. I'll look up the style and see if it's anything... If I can get a lot for it, I'll sell it, but I will try it on first. Okay, I think I did it. Thank you so much for staying with me. Um, I have other videos. Check them out if you want to and leave a comment. I'd love to say hi.